Hey you guys, MBR here, and we are back with a brand new rebuild, and today we will be rebuilding the Denver Broncos. I'm pretty excited for this one. This is definitely going to be a different rebuild. I'm excited to do it. It's going to be kind of like the Giants one because they're in a similar boat, except a little bit better because they have a lot of very young pieces, and I think we can really develop the pieces, the younger pieces that are here. It's going to be a little bit easier to develop them than with the Giants. I'm not going to lie with the Giants. We got pretty lucky, which I'm not mad about. I really liked winning the Super Bowl with them. But let's look at the team. So we have Joe Flacco and we have Drew Locke. Drew Locke is the starter. I think it's good for him to sit a year. I think he's going to be like a Patrick Mahomes type player when you really look at him. Just looking at the kid. I liked his tape out of college. Just like I liked Mahomes. I think he's going to be pretty good. I think, honestly, he's going to be pretty good in this league. But... The first thing you want to do is have him sit behind someone like Joe Flacco. I think the Broncos are doing something actually really, really smart here and having Joe Flacco here. But in Madden terms, it's not going to work out. Joe Flacco is going to be out the door. Same thing with Royce Freeman. In real life, this guy is a beast. He's an absolute beast. I actually want to see what were his stats and contract. What? So he had a really good season last year, only 134 attempts like, that's a very very good season you can't say anything bad about that at all he was the backup running back last year to philip Lindsay, who i don't think is leaving we have two stars uh running backs i think royce freeman is gonna have to go but i think this is definitely gonna be like a Devonte adams tevin coleman situation which in real life that's gonna be really really good then we have three star wide receivers two of them being very young which is amazing to start out with um, and Cortland Sutton, who actually is going to be our number one for right now. Emmanuel Sanders, and we're going to have Deshaun Hamilton, who I'm really excited to develop. This guy, slot wide receiver, looks really, really good and some flat. He had a lot of flashes last year. Then then Cortland Sutton had a really, really good rookie season. I think he had like six, 700 yards, which was second, 700 yards, second for a rookie. I'm pretty sure Calvin Ridley almost got 1,000. But yeah, overall, that's really good. Then you look at tight end position, Noah Fant, who I'm really excited for. This guy is an absolute cat. Like, he's just a beast. Blocking is so-so, but this guy is just... He reminds me of a more bulkier, like, more blocking tight end. Like, more of a blocking tight end than Evan Ingram, but he reminds me of Evan Ingram. Um, looking at this offensive line, Garrett Bowles, who's 27 right now. Not so sure how long he's going to be here in Madden terms, but... Same thing with uh, Ronald Leary. Uh, Juwan James is pretty young. He's Actually, he's also 27. So we'll see what we do with our tackles. But inside, we're actually, Dalton Reisner only has... Oh, God. Dalton Reisner is going to be a beast. I'm ready for Dalton Reisner to be an absolute beast. This guy was a beast in college. He's going to be even better as an uh, NFL player. And then center is going to be something we need to fix. Same thing with um, guard is probably going to need to get fixed, depending on how Dalton Reisner is and Ron Leary. Yeah. So, uh, going over to the defense, there's a lot of promise here. There's a lot of promise. Of course, Von Miller, Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb, I think, was, I can't call him runner up. He was second. Definitely second there. But then you have guys like Kareem Jackson. He's a safety who really is a nickel cornerback. Kareem Jackson really is a nickel cornerback. I think Will Parker is a super creative and this is going to be completely fine in a strong safety position. Then you look at Justin Simmons, who always does well at Madden. He just always does well. I'm excited. Chris Harris, who we're only going to have for a number of years. I think he has two more years left on his contract. Okay, why is it telling me all this stuff? I think he has two years left on his contract. Let me see. He has one year. Okay, we'll probably bring him back for like a one-year contract, depending on how low he goes. But then I do want to develop Bryce Callahan, who's 27. I think he can really do something. Defensive line is going to need some work. Derek Wolf is okay. I mean, he's a pretty good player, but he's 29. Then you look at Adam Gotsis, who I'm not sure if we'll be able to develop. Same thing with Shelby Harris. But overall, I think we're going to be able to develop Josie Jewell. I really like Josie Jewell out of Iowa last year. But overall, this is a really good team. A lot, a lot of 
potential and a lot of trade pieces. I'm really excited to explore. I think we can get a lot for some of these guys. I think it's going to be very valuable. So with all that, uh, with all that said, I'll see you guys at the trade. Okay, guys, so with this trade, it's going to be Joe Flacco and Royce Freeman for a first-round pick from the Jaguars. I think this is actually, this actually, I think, would be a little bit realistic. Not the Joe Flacco one, but the Royce Freeman one because you're still not really sure about Leonard Fournette. Royce Freeman is a back like Leonard Fournette in Madden terms. He has a star development. Looks really good. The uh, Broncos don't need him. And who knows, maybe Nick Foles, Foles or something like that. Got Joe Flacco there. And I think that's actually the only trade we're going to make. Is that's going to be for that first round pick. Just because I wanted to get Joe Flacco's contract off the books. So we have two rookies. Brett Ripken, I actually really liked. Out of, I almost said Kent State, Boise State. But um, yeah, this is what we're looking like. I don't think this is a half bad team. I think if Drew Locke has a good year, we definitely make the playoffs. But if Drew Locke has a good year, um, but we'll see. I really want to put Emmanuel Sanders at number one, but he's 32. I want to give Cortland Sun some development time. So, yeah. I'll come back to you guys with how we did. Okay, so I guess we didn't do so hot. We didn't make the playoffs. Um, We went 7-9. and nine. That's not too terrible. Drew Locke. I'm okay with this. Why did Brett Ripken have five passing touchdowns? 32 yards, but five passing touchdowns. What? I wish you could see what, like, things they played at. Why does Brett Ripken have five passing touchdowns? That's actually really weird. But I like what Drew Locke did. I'm not going to lie. I really do like what Drew Locke did. Depending on where we're picking next year's draft, I'm not sure if we're going to pick quarterback or not just yet. Because it does look like, our, look like our offensive line was pretty poor. I also think we need to give the ball a little bit more to Philip Lindsley with only 900. He was that's a decent average, 3.4, and 7 touchdowns too. Just I think we got to give the ball more to him, but it looks like we were passing it a ton, which I like. 1,100 yards, 7 touchdowns for Portland Sutton. 9, 10, and 5 for Deshaun Hamilton, and 7, 25, and 7, no fan, and also 4, 89, and 2 for Emmanuel Sanders. Blocking, ooh, that's tough. Okay. All right. Linemen are needed. Bryce Callahan leading us in tackles isn't so good. Tackles for loss, 14 by Vaughn Miller, 11 sacks by Vaughn Miller, and Bradley Chubb, 6 by Shelby Harris. I'm definitely looking to upgrade our defensive line. And maybe adding one or two more cornerbacks. Chris Harris with three interceptions. Bryce Allen. Oh, I don't think we need to add a cornerbacks. All three of our cornerbacks. Three interceptions each. Two for Von Miller. One for a few other players. I love that. That's how you play the game. That's how you play the game. Defense was really good. Ezekiel Elliott winning the MVP. The AFC is going to be Baker Mayfield. Defensive player is going to be Miles Garrett. Von Miller, number three. Okay. Offensive rookie of the year. Drew Locke, baby. That's big. That's big. And Marquise Brown coming in there. That one's pretty big. And Brett Ripken also being there. Defensive rookie of the year is going to be Ed Oliver Jr. And yeah. Oh, Jeffrey Simmons is that. Wow, they didn't even put his picture in there. But no, that's really big having Drew Locke win that. I'm going to sim through the playoffs, and sometimes they get development traits, like for Super Bowl week or whatever. Rookie quarterbacks, like, like that's what happened to Justin Herbert when he turned from a star to a superstar. So, we got to watch that with Drew Locke. Because winning Rookie of the Year, really, like, that's what we needed Daniel Jones to do. He couldn't do that. So, winning Rookie of the Year is actually really, really big. So, I'm going to keep an eye on him going up to the draft, see what they're doing with him. I'm not so sure if we're going to draft a quarterback. Okay, guys. So, this is what the next one is looking at. We are trying to have, oh shoot, trying to have a little bit of a big free agency here. Kyle Fuller, Cody Whitehair, Blake Martinez, and Tim Jernigan are all going to be fitting things that we need. Uh, Kyle Fuller, so I decided, so I wasn't sure what cornerbacks would be in free agency. I decided to franchise tag Chris Harris. He did not want to come back, so I franchise tagged him. 
that was a bad idea because that's a lot of money. Cody White here, we need guards. And I could also kick him out to tackle. Um, Blake Martinez, Todd Davis is a lot of money. That's five mil a year. Tim, Tim Jordan, we just didn't have anybody there. I didn't sign back either of our ends in Derek Wolf or Adam Gotsis. Or shell, like our whole entire D-line's gone. Our D-line wasn't that good. So I think we got to start rebuilding a little bit. And that starts with Tim Jernigan. So if we can get this cornerback, there's going to be a big trade. If we can get this cornerback and this middle linebacker, there's going to be a humongous trade. Rejected by White here. Rejected by Blake Martinez. Okay, those are the two big ones. Okay. Mm, our offensive line really is in a good spot then. Ah, and I... So, okay, so we're in a little bit of a tough spot. We are in a little bit of a tough spot. If I want to go offensive line or defensive line, that's going to be the question. And then Chris Harris is actually probably going to get traded. I think an aging cornerback, but Chris Harris is still an 89 superstar. I'll see what I can get for him. But, oh, can I put him up on the trade block right now? I'm not sure if that's just like the beginning of the season. Will they offer me trades? If I add to add him to the trade block, if they offer me any trades, we'll bring him back. If not, if it's on draft day, we're going to be making a draft. We're going to be trading him away for a pick. But I'll come back to you if there's any trades. Okay, so we're going to be trading away Chris Harris over to New York Giants for a third round draft pick, a fifth round draft pick, a seventh round draft pick all this year because we need this class is going to be really big for us. This class is going to be very, very big for us. We need all the players we can get because we can win in the next two years, but we have to have good, good draft. Okay, so we had an amazing draft. Like a really, it might not look like it, but we had a very, very good draft. I stopped picking at Joe Bocci. But we got Roquan Davis, who I'm going to change into an end in our system. 75 hidden development. Then we got Trey Smith. 73 hidden development, who we actually might scoot into guard. Now we have Jalen Phillips, who is going to be our other end, even though he's a little bit underweight. I like where I like him. I like this. And it's a scheme fit. 70 hidden development. We need a sender. 68 hidden development, which could actually be really good. And then I said, you know what, let me get a backup quarterback. Dear King, 68 hidden development. Look at those stats. And then his that is right there. If I was playing, this would be my quarterback, Dear King. This guy's nuts. And then I stopped picking at Joe Bocci. And let's see what else. We had Zach Moss. I don't think there was any more hiddens. We had a lot of late round picks. Jalen Johnson. Yeah. Raekwon Williams. No, Roquan. Raekwon. But yeah, overall, that that was an amazing, amazing draft. I honestly could not ask for a better draft. That right there is what we needed to compete this year or next year. We needed that one very bad. So now that we have this, so Jacob Hansen is going to be starting for us. I want Trey Smith. Ooh, do I want him at... Ooh, this is tough. Because it's either I get him... We're going to have to sign a wide receiver. I forgot that we needed a wide receiver. But it's either I get him, and I have him develop inside right now, and then once one of our tackles leave, they leave. It's Dalton Reisner. is the same exact overall. But Trey Smith... No, he's not a scheme fit. But still, he's one point off the scheme fit. Really, really easy. So I think we're going to go, we're going to switch him over into a left guard. We're going to switch him over into a left guard. I think that would be best. And then have him and Jacob Hans right next to each other. And then on the defensive side, defensive side, Roquan Davis is going to be a right end. Or should Tim Jernigan be a right end? Which one to... Roquan Davis is more of a nose. Well, yeah, run-stopping too. They're both run-stoppers. 
Wait, are they both? Yeah, they're both run stoppers. Let's see your finesse move there. Bad finesse move. Really good power move. Really good block shedding, though. I'm going to like that at right end. So we're going to edit him. He's going to go to right end. Wait, did I mean right end? I did put him in the right position, right? Yeah, I did. So he goes down to 78, but that's completely fine. Fine with that. So now our defensive line looks a lot better. Our cornerbacks are looking better. This team is looking better now. And Will Parks, I also did re-sign him for three years just because he's going to develop and then soon take over Kareem Jackson's role. We are looking pretty good. We are looking very good. So I think without that further ado, let's go to next season. Okay, so this one's rich. We make the wild card a 7-9 team. We win our division okay our division was terrible like absolutely terrible it looks like we had a lot of upgrades though it looks like we have a lot of upgrades so we're going against a wild card against the Patriots I didn't expect us to make I mean there was an outside chance but I didn't expect Deirdre Kings already up to 71 this 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 one might develop a little bit Ooh, that that could be something we look at I mean it looks like we have three star developments on one side of the line two decent guys on the other we're doing pretty good and okay so we got two superstars Roquan Davis is super I didn't look at like what they're doing with the whole this or that or whatever but I'll take it um I'm not arguing like at all that is pretty big. That is very big. It's exactly what we wanted to see. Looks like our team's really starting to round out this year. 21 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, 3,800 yards. Not a terrible season, but not the best. Rushing, we need to give the ball to Philip Lindsay. More, 933. And only three rushing touchdowns. We need to give it to him more. We need... How much is he? 3.6? Like, that's not terrible. Cortland Sutton... 8, uh, 29, and 2, whoever Juwan Winfrey is, 869, and 5, Philip Dorsett, 60, what the hell happened to Deshaun Hamilton, who is in the slot, Deshaun Hamilton should have been in the slot, that's weird, alright, see who did the worst blocking, oh, who knows, it was Garrett Bowles, uh, Josie Jewell with 122 tackles, tax for loss, 18 by Tim Jernigan, Ooh, a little bit down here for Sack. 7 for Vaughn Miller, 6 for Tim Jurgen, 4.5 for Bradley Chubb, 3.5 for Jalen Phillips. Interceptions, 4 for Josie Jewell. I think that might that might be a defensive player of the year. 1 for DeMarcus Walker, yeah, 1 for a few other player, players. That could be a defensive player of the year. Ezekiel Elliott's going to win the MVP. Ooh, nobody from our team. On the AFC, it's going to be Andrew Luck. Nobody from our team. Defensive rookie is me. Miles Garrett. Josie Jewell. Number two. Ooh. That one kind of hurts. Offensive rookie is going to be Jonathan Taylor. Nobody. Derek King. Where's D his stats? Troy Dye. Jalen Phillips. Roquan Davis right there. What was King's stats? I want to see that. Did he also throw five touchdowns like Brett Ripken? He went two for four for one touchdown. Okay. If he's developing, he's developing. What can I say? All right, wild card game against the Patriots. Let's see their superstars. So they just Julian Edelman has a superstar development. What? And we do have superstar, not superstar. Do we not have developments yet? Why? 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 I mean, he is really good out of the slot. And he's a very good wide receiver, but I just... When you're talking about, like, the superstar, superstar wide receivers, like Odell, Julie... I almost said Julius. I almost said Julius Irving. I'm stupid. I don't know why. Odell, Julio, stuff like that. Like, you don't think about Julian Edelman. But, hey, you know, the guy, it, it, looks, it fits him. It definitely does fit him. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the game.
in the game, it looks like we're actually, our offense is taking a drive early. And we forced, okay. I'm completely expecting to get crushed. Like, I'm completely expecting to get crushed. But it looks like we're killing them. Okay, we're not killing them anymore. Third down, third and one. I'm actually going to take this. I'm going to take this and see if we can finish off the drive. So I'm not so sure how much I trust the third and one. And if it does become fourth and one, we have Drew Locke, who's a very big quarterback. But Royce Freeman got that one. He's so small. They made him so small. Oh, my God. Okay, so it looks like we turned over the ball, though. We got it right back. All right, so still 21. Okay. This is very, very... I don't like this. Red zone. Okay, so we have to take... We have to. This is one we have to take. Red zone alert. Again, the old school nice. Just right up the middle. Definitely going to be trying to run the ball. And... Okay, we make it in. I didn't want to make it in, but we made it in. So we're giving them a minute and how many timeouts? Three. That's they they can easily get down the field. Or not. Fourth and thirteen. So we can go up by two scores and completely shut down the game here. Bryant. Okay, McManus. Oh, I keep on doing... I, that's not powerful enough. There's no way it's powerful. Just drill it. Okay. We win. 7-9 goes on the road and beats the Patriots. Jacoby Brissett is the starting quarterback. Joey Brissett had a day to, if he didn't have those two interceptions. And Drew Locke. Okay, be stone cold in the playoffs. Receiving. Luke Stalker, Josh Gordon. Julian Edelman carved us up. Nikhil Harry. Oh my god. Have yourself some days, man. We got, I think we got lucky that one. We'll go into the next round, but I'm not sure if we're going to be as lucky. It looks like we're right into the game. 7-0 already. Buffalo Bills, they look like they have a pretty powerful offense. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to stop it. Uh, we can't be going to for feel. Okay, we get back. Uh, this does not look the best for us. Third and seven. I'm going to take this one. We need to score right here if we want... Oh my god, our uniforms. If we want any sort of anything... To even be in this game, we need a score like now. Oh no no no! He came. Oh, I was gonna. T I needed to take a shot for the end zone. I didn't even see the time. I should have taken a shot for the end zone. Okay, third down alert. Third and two, I believe in us on that one. Red zone alert. Ooh, that makes it even worse that we didn't score. So it's ten to twenty. Third and eight. I have to take this. This is right now where we're going to kind of define if we're going to win this game or not. Ed Oliver already has a superstar development. Oh, right there. Good job, fans. I don't think that's a first down, but we can quarterback sneak that into a first down. What is that? That is a first down. Okay. So I'm going to let the Sim take over. 17 to 20. Our defense needs to stop some sort of nosebleed. Fourth down alert. Fourth and two. Two minute warning. We're down two touchdowns. This is going to be a tough one to get out of. We're, actually, no, we're only down 10. Okay. So that's actually a lot more reassuring. We're only down 10. Right there. Oh. Corlin's side. Oh, I thought he was going to break that off. He had to go no huddle. I thought Corlin's side was about to break that off. That would have been clutch right there. That would have been very, very clutch from the break one off. Okay. Right there, right in the middle. Catch that, fans. You have to catch that. All right, we have to go for this fourth down. 
Actually, we don't. Brandon McManus, do not fail me now. Not as accurate, but he's going to still drill it. Okay. Down a touchdown. Can we come back and tie this thing up? Onside kick. We just need to stop him. Stop him. Yeah, we're not. Damn it. All right, so our miracle run comes to an end at the hands of the Buffalo Bills. We're coming back next year. We're going to be even stronger. Excited to have a big, big offseason. Because we're going to have one. Because I know we can win now. I know we have maybe even two quarterbacks who are willing to win now. Let's see if we can do it. Now, decisions right now. Curtis Samuel, Sidney Jones, Marshall Young, and Taylor Decker. All guys we want to win now with. Curtis Samuel is going to be a really good number two receiver, so we can move Deshaun Hamilton back into the slot. Sidney Jones is going to be here, just kind of solidify secondary. That already is pretty good, but just kind of solidify with a good third cornerback. Isaiah Yidem, Isaac, oh, Isaac Yidem, my fault, is a really good cornerback, but I think he's going to be better as a four than a three. Marshall Yonda, I decided to let go of Ron Leary. Marshall Yonda, one year prove it deal. Not one year prove it, one year retirement tour deal. And then Taylor Decker, I'm pretty sure I'm paying him, yeah, three years. Uh, we upped it by, yeah, by like $9 million, so it's not terrible, but um, almost $10 million. But that is our deal for him. If we can get all three to accept perfect, I just really need the two offensive linemen. Two offensive linemen is going to be big. Again, we have to use accepted, 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 rejected by Taylor. Okay, so that one is a little bit big really needed that one accepted by Taylor I can move Smith out to left tackle like that doesn't pain me to do but oh that's kind of tough that is really really tough I'm gonna see what we can do in the drafts about a tackle but our defense is finished whoever Rashad Robinson is okay I guess they draft this guy out of James Madison as a star development um and Derek King has a star development so Drew Locke, Mr. Drew Locke, is on a very, very short leash because I will put in De'Eric King at any second. I'm going to sim next year. I'm going to sim half a season. If he's not doing good, King is coming in. Like that, that's final because King is going to develop fast. But that's kind of how everything is looking, and I'll see you guys after the draft. Okay, so we had, for the one pick that I did pick, well, I picked two, but this guy was something else. But for the one pick that I did really pick that was good, 77 hidden development rookie. You can't get better than this at the left tackle. Not mad at all. So going into next season. Now, we know D.R. King's a star development. The thing is, is if we want to play him over Drew Locke. I'm not so sure about that. We're going to go and sim to midseason. And at midseason, I'll probably make the switch. But overall... I think we're looking really good. I think we are looking a lot better than last season. I think we have a lot more potential than last season. Josie Jewell is now a star development. If I can get another middle linebacker in there, Bryce Callahan is a star development. I didn't even realize Bryce Callahan was a star development. He was a star development in the beginning. What am I talking about? Kareem Jackson, he's down there. He's regressing. Will Parks. Like, first of all, we have a star set of defense. Our defense is amazing. Offense is starting to get there. It's just over. It, our, everything looks good. Everything looks really, really good. I'm really, really excited for this season. Let's see which quarterback is going to take us there. It's going to be fun to figure it out. Okay, so we didn't actually end up making the playoffs, like, at all. And the thing is, I didn't end up switching quarterbacks because Drew Locke was having a really good season, and we were 4-3. and three. We're 4-12. and 12. Now, let's look at the stats. Drew Locke had a very good year, 4,400 yards, 28 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. We still have De'Eric King here, who's still developing like a lot, 73. Philip Lindsley, over 1,000 yards, 9 touchdowns, receiving 2,000 yard, receive, 2, yard receivers, 1,207 from Curtis Samuel, 1,007 for Deshaun Hamilton, 832 and 5 for Noah Fant. We had some receivers, and we had a really good O-line. Defensively, 146 tackles for Josie Jewell. Tackles for loss, 11 from Josie Jewell. 15 sacks from Vaughn Miller. 
Seven sacks from Josie Jewell. I think he's actually probably going to be Defensive Player of the Year. It will surprise me a lot if he isn't. 6.5 for Tim Jernigan. 5.5 for Jalen Phillips. Interceptions. Four for Sidney Jones. Two for Will Parks. Two for Bryce Callahan. One for a few other players. But, like, that's a really good season. We go 4-12. and Ezekiel Elliott's going to win the MVP. Nobody there for us in the AFC. Wait, no. Yeah, AFC. Probably not going to have anybody. Oh, Drew Locke comes there at number 10. Even the player is going to be Devin Bush. Are you kidding? Josie Jewell misses out on it. Second year in a row. Vaughn Miller is going to be number 5. Offensive Rookie of the Year, we didn't really we didn't really draft anybody because we don't need to draft anybody. Like our, everything is good with our team right now. Maybe an extra middle linebacker. We're going to need another guard to come in, and then probably a right. Like the right side of the – I might move. If anything happens, I might have to move Trey Smith over back to tackle. We're going to need another guard because Marshall Yonda is retiring. Defensively, we look good. We have one – two normal developments and Will Parks is developing really nicely and I think we're probably going to get a superstar hopefully on one of these guys because Jalen Phillips still needs to unlock his ability which he probably is soon Roquan Davis has already unlocked his ability he's probably hopefully getting another one at 90 and our cornerbacks are just straight good so it's going to be fun to see where this team can go we still have a lot of developmental pieces so yeah, we'll see where everything goes. See you guys in the These are all of the negotiations we did do. And two guys are familiar, Vaughn Miller and Philip Lindsley, because neither of them wanted to resign with us. Now, Austin Corbett and DJ Reader are both new. Austin Corbett, Marshall Yonda did decide to go some... Well, I think he actually... He retired. DJ sure retired. Then DJ Reader, um, Tim Jernigan is getting a little bit older. DJ Reader is younger. Same overall. So I said, why not? So let's see... Hopefully we get Von Miller back because we kind of need that outside linebacker. He had a like just great season for us, so accepted, accepted, rejected by Reader, but accepted by Miller. I'm okay with that because I'm pretty sure Tim Jernigan is still here, so we can just grab Tim Jernigan back. He is. Linval Joseph, Kwan Short is here. Tim Jernigan's younger. I can. I can stay with a 29 year old. So we're gonna grab back Tim Jernigan. That's like an easy, easy just pick up. 101, so we need to go up to 105 points. All right, Panthers. They did lose Quan Short. I'm gonna bump this up to 10. This should be more than enough. 112, yeah, we got him. We only have two more years left, so that's why I'm kind of going a little bit overboard. But, oh, no, we don't want to quit. Let's see. Do we get Tim Jernigan? Hopefully we do, because that's just kind of like the last piece we need. So I'll just do a team whole lineup right now because we're not going to be getting anything else. Like, this is our team. And DeAndre King, he's still here. If I go through midseason and Drew Locke isn't doing anything, DeAndre King is starting. That's final. Um... We could use an extra middle linebacker. I might look at like the first round of the draft to see if they have one where we're picking. Because we are going to have a decently high pick. That's actually might be that or a strong safety. So you guys actually might see a new face. But if not, it'll be the end of the year. I'll bring you guys back for the draft though. Okay, so we had a pretty decent draft. I picked for these first three. And we got Jimmy Murphy, John Jack Ciara. And Eli Berry. Eli Berry is not the best, but Jack Ciara being the best out of all of them, picked him in the second round, 76 hidden development right tackle. Then I got another right tackle, 74 hidden development. I think both are. No, he's not a scheme fit. But that's big for us. That right there, those picks are pretty big for us, just for the very reason that now I have a. Actually, I'm probably going to start him over James, over Juwan James, because Juwan James is starting to get older, so I'm actually, I'm, he's a right tackle, I want to start, I want to go through the, say we have a hidden development tight end too, oh Jack CR, he's a 79, I want to see this guy's stats really quickly, hold on, rating, oh my, 
Hulk is 75 speed. Okay. That's like tight end stuff. Um, I'm going to have to go into the depth chart, and we're going to be starting him at right tackle. I think he's going to do good at right tackle. We've got Lauren e. Brown. Um, let's go. Uh, where are you? Jack Ciara. You are going to be our starting right tackle. And then... Where did... Oh, Juwan James is going to go right here. So, Juwan James is just going to be a backup for right now. Good backup. He can play anywhere in the offensive line, really. So, yeah, even though Juwan James was a pretty big free agency thing for them, I just think he's he's 30, I think. Yeah, he is 30. He's starting to get older. So, Jack CR, we're just going to slot him in right now. Again, I didn't see what development he was. I think that kind of spoils it. I don't really like to see that. So... Let's see what we got, because I think we have two promising tackles. And our defense is just our defense. It's good. Three superstars, superstar X-Factor. Basically, all stars. All stars except for Will Parks, Joe Bocci, and Isaac, Isaiah yeah. Isaac Yidem. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say. But, yeah, we're looking amazing. We are looking a lot, just really good. So, I think without further ado, I'm going to send to mid-season, and we're going to see what Drew Locke's doing. And then, we'll probably, if he's not doing good, we'll switch quarterbacks. But if not, we'll keep it going, see if we can make the playoffs. We make the playoffs, and we get the first round by... I like, I like what I see. I like what I see. Let's see. And I did not change quarterbacks. Drew Locke was the quarterback all the way through. We were like 5-2 and two at the mid-season point. And... Oh, was he superstar? I didn't... He must have been superstar. Ooh, hold on. That's a superstar... De two superstar developments at tackle. And Murphy... Wait, was... Did Murphy get enough... Murphy didn't get enough snaps. Ooh. We have to figure out this guy, because he needs to get some snaps. I want to see if he's superstar also, but... D.R. King's a 75, and he has... This guy's gonna. I'm using him in a rebuild. Like now that I know, I'm using him in like a rebuild, or maybe in our franchise series that's starting. And I need to remember there's a star development. And he goes super fast. It looks like we had a somewhat of an amazing year. It looks like we just did good. Um, we went 12, three and one. That's really good. Drew Locke had a very good season. 4,000 yards, 31 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. This is good. Philip Lindsay, 1,000 yards, 6 touchdowns, 2 fumbles need to get changed. Receiving over 1,000 yards for Curtis Samuel, 4 touchdowns, 12 touchdowns, and 850 for Deshaun Hamilton, breaking out a little bit. And 787 and only 1 for Cortland Sutton. And 709 and 6 for Noah Fant. Okay, we did really good on the sacks front on allowing sacks we did pretty good we didn't allow very many josie jewel 103 tackles tax for loss 18 from tim jernigan 17 sacks from von miller it is not a mistake to resign him this guy always produces nine sacks for bradley chubb 7.5 for roquan davis four tim jernigan 2.5 for bochi two for jalen phillips four interceptions for isaac, uh, isaac yitem for isaac yitem Sidney Jones with three, Justin Simmons with two, Will Parks with two, and a few other players with one. I think Von Miller wins Defensive Player of the Year. I just, he has to. Justin Herbert's going to the MVP. No idea from our team in the AFC. Le'Veon Bell is going to win it. Drew Locke at number nine. Cream Hunt on the Bills, Defensive Player of the Year. You're kidding me. Von Miller deserves it after his year. Von Miller deserves him. But Miles Garrett's going to win it. Nobody else, and then we're not gonna have any offensive or defensive rookies. We have a pretty good, we have a very good team. I'm excited to see who we're gonna face. Who are we gonna face? We face the seven and nine. That's actually a little bit. I don't like that. It's very, very much scary. I do want to see something though. What is Murphy's overall? If I want to see if Murphy's overall draw, like goes up a ton or something, if he goes to guard. Because, or center. I'm going to see what he is at center first. Because Jake Hansen, I like. The 76. We, 
Oh, God. I, we're going to keep Hanson there for right now. But if he's a 76 at center, he must be something else at guard. Or maybe he just stays 76. 77 at guard. We should have been... He, sh he sh should have been starting at guard. But... Yeah, because often the linemen actually do progress pretty well, as you can see. Jake Hansen's a 77. Trey Smith's an 81. 84 for Dartman. 82 for Ciara. But we are going in Broncos. Not Mile High Stadium. Broncos Stadium. In Mile High against the Colts. The Manning Showdown. That's what I always call it. The Manning Showdown. I'll see you guys in the game. All right, so it looks like Denver was driving down for a minute. Oh, actually, we were. Ooh. All right, come on, come on. All right, it's 3-0 Indy. McManus is doing decent, so we need to score some points. We need to score some points. Third and 10, I'm taking this one over. We need to score. The Colts' defense is completely holding us right now. Third and 10, I like Curtis Samuel's speed here. I really like Curtis Samuel's speed right there. Oh, I don't think Drew Locke has the arm strength. Oh, man. I need a Curtis Samuel to beat him off. Right. <laughs> I need a Curtis Samuel to beat him off the line there. 17 to 3. Okay, we're just getting destroyed. All right, so we can turn this game around. We need to turn this game around. Fourth and 14. Okay. I don't know why, but whenever we're the first seed, we just can't do anything. Like, the first seed never does anything in the playoffs. No fans! Come on! Fan, there's a reason we got you. Dang. This, the Sim effed us over. The Sim effed us over hard. Sim fucked us over hard. Damn! All right. See if we can make some sort of resemblance of a comeback here. All right, get out of bounds. Yeah, we kind of can't afford anyone getting in bounds. And if I if I didn't already mention it, this is probably our last year. So, yeah, because we need to re-sign a ton of people next year. And cap space just doesn't go with that. So this is probably going to be our last year. Ah, oh, damn. Can we make a 21 point comeback in two minutes? I mean, it's never been done, but hey, we can do it. We can try it. They have Alec Ogletree, wow. All right. I don't know why I'm even thinking about running the ball. Right there. Oh, come on, Locke. I needed you to get to Sean Hamilton. Locke has had a decent day, it looks like. At least 300 yards. No touchdowns. Probably has an interception. Drew Locke. Touchdown. Oh, he got his rushing touchdown. So 17-31 to 31 isn't a terrible score. I mean, it isn't good, but it isn't terrible. Onside kick. Let's see. And it is going to be recovered by them. T.Y. Hilton's going to get it. Yeah, that one was just bad. That, that game was terrible. Is that going to be the end of it? Are we going to get one more chance? 35 seconds left. I think I'm just going to play this just for content. Just for we're not... Both their ends are superstars. Wait. They have Miles Jack, Darius Leonard, and Justin Houston. All right, that's a little scary. Wow. All right, I'm going to go hit the seam. Noah Fan. Oh, Deshaun Hamilton. All right, we don't have any more timeouts. I'm just, we have to go down the field. Like, I have to go down the field here. Okay. Oh. For a second, I thought Curtis Samuel just did that. Why are we? Oh, for a second. All right, I like this Hail Mary. I like this Hail Mary. Drew Locke, let's see if you got the arm strength. Probably going to hit the post. Oh, oh, get it, get it, get it. Ah, uh, damn. All right, that, that one kind of sucks. That one hurts a lot. 
we came in 12 and something and then that happens that, that that's not the best feeling but it's it happens it's like it'd be like that sometimes you know be like that but um yeah that's gonna be the end of our broncos rebuild if you guys did enjoy this rebuild and you guys want to see more definitely go leave a like and go subscribe tell me what teams you want to do below i actually have a list while well, i'm working on a list for the next week of teams i want to do because i'm trying to get these out a little bit more often because i know how much you guys like them so yeah i think without further ado i will see you guys in our next rebuild episode see you guys then make sure to have a good day well, make sure to have an absolutely electrifying day i'll see you guys in the next